Hey, thank you for taking the time to click on today's video. You know, one of the questions that I get pretty frequently is, should I invest in CDs right now? And what is the answer to that? Well, the answer is, I maybe, I don't know. You see, the reality is, is that we haven't seen interest rates in the CDs like today's interest rates in a very, very long time. And let's face it, it's kind of exciting when we've been used to seeing CDs that have been paying a quarter of a percent, a half a percent, man, we felt like we really had the cat by the tail when we got three quarters or even 1% on a CD. Today, it's pretty frequent with banks that are putting together CD bundles and they're laddering their CDs and you can get interest rates 4%. So should you really invest in those CDs? Well, here's the thing. Number one, CDs are safe. We know that they're FDIC insured. We know that your principal is going to be there and we know that the principal is going to be producing this 4% rate of interest and that's pretty exciting and you don't have to take risk to do it. However, there is a couple of things that are working against you and these are the big considerations for you. The first consideration is, is that it is going to add taxation to your life. Now granted, there's not a lot of people that are putting, you know, millions of dollars in CDs. Banks won't even allow that. But the reality is, is that if we have quite a bit of income coming in and then we take another 100,000, 200,000, we put it into CDs, remember that CDs have to report the interest that you have earned at the end of every year. So as a result, you're gonna be taking and paying taxes on this money. The second thing that is a bigger consideration and probably the most important consideration for you is the renewal. Most of the CDs that I've seen that are going to be producing somewhere in that 4% range are going to be somewhere in the vicinity of one year in duration. And the reason that this is so important is because the Federal Reserve right now has been raising interest rates to abate the inflation. That is something that has to happen in order to contract the economy and bring inflation into check. But I want you to be thinking about where those interest rates are going to be in the future. You see, every time that the feds raise interest rates, they get the economic car closer to the side of the road. It's slowing the car down. But eventually, once they have abated that inflation, they've got that inflation down to where they want it to be, then they're going to stop raising interest rates. And we know that interest rates can only go in two different directions. So the fear or the consideration is really that if we buy a 4% paying CD, we'll get one year, we'll get 13 months, whatever the duration is, at 4%. But in a year's time, chances are that CD is going to renew at probably maybe half of that amount of interest. So what is a nice alternative? What is an even potentially better alternative to the CD? And that then turns our attention to the annuity. Now, annuities are probably one of the most misunderstood and misrepresented investments. And they get a lot of flack because there is a lot of individuals who um, they get sold annuities without really understanding the annuity. The advisor is misselling the annuity, not explaining it thoroughly. But we need to understand that annuities can come in two different forms. They can either come in the form of indexed annuities, and those are safe, or they can come in the form of fixed interest annuities. Now, fixed interest annuities, as I've said in previous videos, are something that can be a very good alternative to CDs, primarily because they have no uh, fees that are attached to them, and in many respects are going to be able to pay a better rate of interest and for a longer period of time. But there's one other consideration. Not only are fixed interest annuities right now paying north of 5%, so you're getting 25% more interest on your money, but you're all also in a position where that 5% plus interest rate is going to be guaranteed to you and it's going to be guaranteed for a period of up to three, five, seven years. So if you think about what's going to be happening in potentially a year with interest rates coming back down, don't give yourself a good interest rate for only a year. Give yourself a great interest rate for a much longer period of time. You can still take interest income off from these annuities. You still have penalty-free withdrawals if you have a nursing home entrance or you have a terminal illness. Or if you die, 100% accumulation goes to your family. But this is something that's going to allow you to be able to grow at a bigger rate of interest. It's going to allow you to compound the money because you're not having to report the interest and pay taxes on it. And you're going to be giving yourself that gift of higher interest for a much longer period of time. 
so that you can sit back and relax and enjoy finally making some reasonable interest on your money. So hopefully this has been helpful in you understanding and better exploring alternatives outside of CDs to determine is the CD really the most ideal situation or is there something that is better for you and for your money to invest in. If you like these little videos, we always appreciate when you give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our videos, and every single week when we release a new video, we will make certain to remind you of that, and that's especially true if you hit that little bell. And I encourage you, share this with your friends. You may have friends that have been thinking, they've been jostling with the idea of investing in CDs, and this may be just the ticket to help them explore and find a better way to grow their money faster and safer with less taxes. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Matthew Johnson, and remember, it's up to you to make today a great day.